Captain, make sure that your parachute will open in right time so that nothing will happen afterwards. <laughs> And this parachute we wanted to attach to this drone, ah, sorry, UAV, to let, you know, fly to that point where the people are needing perfect. This is the medical box, right? And it can go, it can fly there up to that point and just release the medicine. <laughs> okay. By this time, we were lagging with the electromagnets that could be released remotely. So I wish electrical or communication department will help us to do that. It's a simple 12 volt electrical magnet that can release this parachute at that point upon our command. Okay? Um, so, so there's three pilots already somehow trained. Don't worry, we have here 30 puppets. This one kilogram water bottle, it cannot say, carry that one. It has the payload, its uh, self weight is about 1.5, 1.5 kilogram. And it can, it can lift up to 900 grams. So one, only 100 gram is extra. That is for your safety. Okay? So our demonstration here is to just show you the flight, hopefully good flight, and uh, I need your wish, a good wish, where blessing will come in your hand, okay? So I go out of this room, also to keep myself safe, side, um, and uh, wish these three pilots also demonstrate very good flight today. And if it be successful, then the project will continue. If not, then project might be facing problem. Okay? So it will be discontinued. If even it fails, we continue. Yeah, Manosar. Now, I got one support from the department. This project shouldn't be limited to mechanical engineering because mechanical engineers always look after the body, safety, functionality, you know, sturdy, capacity, etc. Et and there is also input should be some input from electrical department, electrical engineers, electronic communication engineers should work together. We also need um, computer department support for programming aspect because this is now a manually operated flying robot but it should be operating automatically, autopiloting phase and it should do its work without any failure. We are still one step forward only, we have to walk very far away. But the world is already have shown, all, the world already has shown us the versatile capacity of this flying robot. And it could be put to fully automatic and it has a lot of, lot of things to do. You can also see some of the posters here hang nearby for further information. And this is just a simple a robot. Having, uh, 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 what is called the camera, remotely controlled camera mounted on it. So you can also watch yourself on the uh, on the TV, on the ca on the ca uh, computer, laptop. But our aim is to make it also very versatile, and also mounting the camera in a gimbal, so that even the copter is not in level. It can take your picture of level and also less vibrating. But we have to do it. For this event, we have tried very much, but we couldn't do that 
because of several other constraints, but we are trying our best to make it happen. And this is a small model of what we want to make, the pilot project. This has the diameter of about 40 centimeters. The pilot project will have diameter of 70 centimeters. It will be more than that, a rubber. <laughs> so to, to carry about 6 kilograms of payload, it can carry only 900 grams. Okay, now everybody is curious enough. I don't want to now take more time. And now, let's wish them, these three pilots, to fly it safely. Let me count down. Ten. Yes. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ignition. You can land, demonstrate the yaw, the forward, backward, right, left. Sorry, don't worry. Don't be too nervous. It's the first time, of course. Oh, yeah. Safe landing. <laughs> Good. And smooth. Okay. Demonstration shown by Susan. Now, next pilot is. Okay, now I see a lot of cameras here, so I'm not the only one. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, now Ravi, try to land this copter on the place where it has started. <laughs> we have to check its health. You know, this is Copter takes a lot of energy. We have 12 volt battery supply, and it should not fall below 11 volt. Otherwise, it will drop as a bomb. So <laughs> we have to take care of the health of the copter also. Okay, now you can make it a little bit higher, higher, so that probably everybody can see the Kathmandu University is moving. Okay, can you also see the video there? Yeah, this is, there is a transmission, a video, can you record that video? Maybe later we can display in our a big hall. Okay, can you walk now the copter and take everybody's, in a circle, everybody's photo? Ravi? Okay, down. Very good. Up, right. Whoa. Can you see me? Can you see me? Hello. 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 You see, it's the safety, not only people's safety, but the copter also needs its own safety. That's why it has got a helmet. <laughs> it has a brain on board. Brain on board. And that is a programmable, the so-called KK2 on board. And it provides the uh, level flight and can be controlled in this uh, radio. So we need to protect this head. If it falls down, the head is damaged. So now, thank you so much for your observation uh, and uh, your good wish.
I hope that in future we will be able to show more and more application of this uh, helicopter. And uh, thank you for your administration also helping us.